Okay, so something big just got confirmed for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 15, and it ruins Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 15. I'm not even gonna cap. This is gonna make a lot of people who were formerly interested in this DLC pack, it's definitely gonna make them take a step back, because we just got confirmation that you will not be getting Gohan's new, air quotations, new super attack skills. So let's go ahead and talk about it in today's video. Before we do, go ahead. We want to get 2,000 thumbs up into the sky. Send all that love, all that admiration, all that support for the perfection Sama Giginaba. The new Dragon Ball official update for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 just dropped and it confirmed a lot of things and probably the worst fears for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 fans. No, you will not be getting any of Gohan's new skills from the trailer. And it does look like you may not be getting Gamma 1 or Gamma 2 skills. So it got revealed, all the new updates that yeah, you'll be getting the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 outfits, that got revealed. But we got some uh, specifications on Gohan Dragon Ball Super's super attack skills and the worst thing possible happened. We have a Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta situation going on. A lot of people thought that this was going to be the case. So where's the Gohan Defenders at now? You guys were defending this reskin a few days ago, but now it got even worse. You won't be able to get his skills and they are unique, air quotations, unique to the reskin. So that means that anything new that the skills might do is completely for him. CAC will not be getting anything because remember with Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta, all of his unique skills stayed on him, even the ultimate. So Final Gallic Rush, that stayed on him. So this new Super Dragon Flight is going to stay on Gohan. And honestly, that was the only interesting skill that he had. Like, oh, wow, ultra, uh, old version of Super Dragon Flight? That might be interesting. Oh, we won't be getting it. Ah, snap. Hey, there, there you go. So now, I, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. If I were not a content creator, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I probably would not be getting this DLC pack. But you know there's differences for fans and content creators. Now, I'm not pulling the, the goy. I'm not trying to tell you how to spend your money. But honestly, this DLC does not look like it has bang for your buck. I'm just being honest with you. Hey, don't get mad at the messenger. But let's look at everything else. We got to confirm that Hawk Charge is Hawk Charge. There's a Masenko Blast or whatever. Okay, who cares? Uh, they, they might be retooling one of the evasive attacks for a super attack. Or it might still be an evasive. We don't know. I, that could still be the case. So <laughs> it, it, it looks bad. He's just, he's just recomposite. He's just composite Gohan. That's essentially what he is. You know how you got composite Santa Claus? You got composite Gohan over here where they just jumbled up some of his techniques and just say, hey, there you go, reskin, don't care, bye. You know, see you next DLC pack where we actually give you the Gohan you wanted. You know, the Gohan that we may have actually should have just gone ahead and released here. Nah, you're not getting Gohan Beast now. You're gonna have to wait for him with Orange Piccolo. But nah, we'll, we'll give you composite Gohan. There you go. Enjoy. And of course, the Gohan defenders are still going to defend this. It's not a reskin. It's not. It's literally a reskin from top to bottom. And honestly, I'm shocked that I'm about to say this, but we may have been better off getting Dragon Ball Super Pan. I'm, like, I'm just saying, because at least we're not even going to get a new outfit from Gohan. They didn't even show that. We're not even going to get a new outfit from Gohan as if that would have made up for anything. Because it's, it's just Piccolo's outfit that we already have. But at least with Pan, we would have gotten like the little Satan shirt with the red gloves and all that for female CACs. We would have gotten like the little school outfit, whatever, that, that CACs could rock. But at least we, it would have been that. But no, we, get no, we got nothing. Nothing from Gohan. Oh, uh, uh, this is so garbage. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know how I am. I'm not gonna meet you with any fake positivity. Gohan was a huge disappointment. 
Shocker, am I right? Gohan being a disappointment yet again. And it, it wasn't bad enough that the new uh, trailer for Gohan Beast just dropped for Dragon Ball Legends. And I'll be honest, over there, he, he looks like meh. Like, he, he's not doing anything shocking. Like, okay, he did a special beat cannon from the movie. Are, is that what Xenoverse gonna, Is that what they're going to do for Xenoverse? Like just, oh look, he's got the special beam cannon. What, what, is his combos gonna be amazing? Is his other super attacks around that going to be amazing? That's the problem here. They're like, I don't know. And a lot of people are still gonna defend this. They're gonna defend the Dragon Ball Super Gohan, the base Gohan with the glasses. Well, huh, he, he didn't do much in the movie, so how can you expect? I expect you not to waste anybody's time if you knew that going into it. You could have completely skipped this Gohan. It would have messed up anything. He could have just been a preset, just like thrown out the glasses and whatnot, and just had the same moves and save yourselves the trouble and save the fake hype for everyone else. Because honestly, this wasn't worth it. You know what would have been worth it? Not every character has to have a story significance to every DLC pack. So you could have gone ahead and released Ikari Broly or Big Kale or, or Majin 21. You could have released any of those just to say, okay, you know what? You know that this, this DLC pack is underwhelming. Here you go, a Constellation Prize 21 or Big Kale. Or hey, if we, if we don't give you a Constellation super pan with some new moves that we just made up in the in the move creator will give you i don't know dragon ball super video anything anything would have been better than this i mean perfect recolor piccolo not the orange one that just the other potential unleashed piccolo that would have been better that's the sad part that would have been better than this but uh, the real slap in the face was Beast Gohan getting revealed today for Dragon Ball Legends. I, I, like, they really dropped the ball on this. It's like they have no, like, where, where's the marketing team? Fire them! Fire, fire, fire them! Fire them! Fire them! Fire them. Th th this was terrible, terrible, terrible. But guys, that, that's been my assessment of everything. Uh, I, I just, I, I can't fake hype it. I, that's not what I do. You get 100% the real over here. You don't get any of fake hype. So, no new custom skills. Uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are going to be the only outfits that you get. I mean, you, didn't even get you didn't even get confirmation that you're going to get the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 skills. That's also important. So, you didn't get confirmation that you were going to get their skills. And you know for a fact you're not going to get Gohan skills. So what are you really getting out of this DLC pack besides the characters? That's the big major question that has to be asked here. What are you getting besides the characters? Like what for CAC are you getting? And please, save the ye as super out hero outfit. I don't want to hear about those. I want to hear about moves. I want to hear about serious outfits and moves. That's all I want to see here. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Remember, let's get 2,000 thumbs up into the sky, 2,000 likes on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.